Hey guys, in this video we will be implementing the pre-trained BERT model using TensorFlow and Transformers library. We will be using the common lit readability Kegel data set and uh, before we get into the notebook if you want to skip any part or want to know any particular thing I have provided the timestamps in the description so you can jump around the video and if you want to take a look at the competition this is the competition uh, here is our data set so uh, this data is taken from the literature books and here our goal is to predict uh, how much complex the text is to read so we'll we'll be finding the reading complexity so we have given this data train.csv test.csv sample submission.csv we have all those uh, files so we'll look into that now uh, in train.csv we have 2834 values um, uh, so the first column is uh, uh, the id column uh, second column we have url legal uh, which contains 71% of the null value so uh, as this value is very huge so we will not be using this column and same in the license column also so we will not this either and here we have our excerpt column so uh, uh, this is the column which we will be using uh, so this is the text which we give in uh, to uh, model as input and here we have our score uh, that is uh, the target so we'll be using this as our label so uh, this tells how much complex is to read this sentence so these two columns are uh, important and the final column we have standard error so uh, we, we will not using this column also so this is our input and this is our label so uh, uh, this is a small data set with 2.8 MB size so uh, we will be downloading this uh, file uh, for the whole data set and we will be storing it inside a inside our google drive so that uh, we can easy, easily use it in our um, google collab notebook before we get started please make sure that you are running your notebook on a gpu to check that go to view resources change runtime type and select gpu as the hardware accelerator and save this and before we get into importing the things we need to install some additional libraries in google collab and they are transformers and the tensorflow gpu so it won't take much time you can install it by giving just pip install transformers and now it is successfully installed uh, we will be using the transformers 4.6.1 version and also as we are working with the gpu you need to install tensorflow gpu so you can just give pip install tensorflow gpu okay now that we have done with the installation uh, just before uh, we need to check the gpu if it is working or uh, not so yes we it is working we have tesla t4 assigned to us we will import pandas to read csv numpy 4 rs and to create model and train the model we will be using tensorflow module and to download the pre-trained BERT model and its configurations and also the tokenizer we will be using is from the transformers library which is given by the hugging face if you want to take a look at the documentation here it is and import the data directly from the google drive and assign it to a pandas data frame if we print out first five rows here we can see so many nan values so uh, this is this will be our input column and this will be our label and uh, we, we don't care about all those extra columns now we will iterate through uh, each sequence and find its uh, number of words and append it to a list so that we can find the maximum number of words in the sequence uh, it is important because the bird has a maximum sequence length of 512 words so it can take only 512 words so if uh, we exceed this limit of 512 words we need to uh, take some action uh, which 
we can do uh, truncating at the end or uh, take the end part that is uh, uh, cut the first part or you can uh, take the middle part by uh, cutting the first and the last part or you can uh, uh, remove the middle part and join the first and last part so uh, there was a uh, research which says cutting the middle part or uh, the joining the first and last part will give you the best accuracy and again it is based on your data so uh, but here we don't have that problem because it is just uh, 205 words we have uh, so we are not exceeding this limit now that we have the sequence we need to tokenize this sequence uh, but an important thing to keep in mind is that you cannot use any other tokenizer your own tokenizer or any tensorflow or any other tokenizer here because the bird uses its own tokenizer as it is a pre-trained model we have to use the same tokenizer uh, because it splits the words in a different way uh, we will see that later but before that we need to select the uh, bird model so there are a lot of uh, varieties of bird model they are differentiated based on the uh, size and language you use and the some other parameters uh, as we can see here bird large is a 24 layer 1024 hidden units 16 hertz and here we have 336 million trainable parameters and in bird base we have only 12 layers 768 hidden units and 12 hertz uh, and here only we have 110 million parameters now some other things the case is a case sensitive uh, which differentiate between the capital and small letters and uncased is not a case sensitive so it will convert all the text into a lower text uh, that is the uh, lower alphabet so if you want to look at the pre-trained models here is the link uh, here you have a lot of options so with the different combination this is BERT base uncase so here you can see it is trained on lower case text uh, and here it is a smaller model so he, you can see th these different combinations here and if you want to use a different language uh, even that is available Chinese German or uh, you have multilingual model also so you can choose uh, between them so in our case we will be using the BERT base and case that is uh, it is not a case sensitive and it is a smaller model now this BERT tokenizer fast class will construct a tokenizer from the pre-trained model and here we have to pass the model which we are going to use that is BERT base uncased in our case and if you want to use a uh, some different model you can use then it will download some necessary files and construct a tokenizer and it will be assigned to our tokenizer variable so now that we have our tokenizer we will create a simple function that will take that training data frame and iterate through uh, the except column through each sequence and by taking the tokenizer it will convert that sequence into a numeric sequence a tokenized sequence so uh, this tokenizer gives three outputs that is it will convert the text sequence into three different numeric sequences and we will see them why it is giving three sequences and so in this function uh, this tokenizer uh, so we will be iterating through that column and uh, here we have specified the maximum length so every sequence will be of length 210 uh, 210 words or 210 tokens and if it exceeds the limit it will be truncated and here uh, if it is shorter than 210 then it will be padded to uh, the max length that is 210 and here we will be adding some special tokens and uh, which we will be uh, we'll see that later so and i will uh, append this to my list so that i can return those three lists uh, these are the three sequences which we get input ID token type and attention mask so here is the docs so uh, 
these are the model input so uh, as it gives three outputs output sequences our BERT model will take these three uh, sequences as the input so the first uh, sequence is input ID so what this input ID is uh, so it is the simple uh, tensor it is like simple tensorflow tokenizer so for uh, each word it will give a specific number so if this uh, this is a sentence a titan rtx has 24 gb of vram now uh, what this bird tokenizer does is suppose uh, okay this a is a titan is titan and here the uh, tokenizer doesn't have the word rtx so what it does is it will split uh, the uh, split those words so that now the uh, model has r and it has t and it has x but it doesn't have rtx and here uh, to know that this is the same sentence it add to hash in front of the in front of those letters so now this rtx uh, uh, it uh, so it knows that this rtx is of is uh, these three letters are of the same word so now it has 24 but it doesn't have 24 gb in a single word so now it split 24 and gb separately and add it to hash in front of gb same with same here it has v it has ra and it is it has m it doesn't have a vram as a whole word so uh, here also same it uh, it adds hashes now so uh, in that vocabulary it has all those words here so for each of this word it has a specific id so now uh, so it will convert that uh, word into this id sequence and uh, when it is converting a single sequence it will add a special cls token at the beginning and scp token in the end this is how the uh, bird tokenizer works or uh, the bird takes it as the input for every sentence there will be a cls token uh, in in the starting and as scp token in the end so that is that that's our first input the first sequence and we have we also have a uh, we have another sequence is the attention mask so uh, this attention mask gives uh, 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 says which uh, which part of the sentence is important or which token is important and which token is not important suppose we have two sentences here uh, one one is a short short sequence and another is a long sequence now what the what it does is so uh, uh, one thing is we can truncate the long longer sequence otherwise we can pad the shorter sequence if we pad the shorter sequence then uh, there will be a zero 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 added so to make it a maximum uh, make it maximum length and uh, so what happens is uh, these padding zero zero see we can see here uh, here these zeros are added but when the model learns these things uh, these padding uh, this padded sequence is uh, not important part only the important part is these uh, first IDs so this will give us the information not these things so what this attention mask sequence does is it says that uh, these first things are important and these padded sequence are not important so it it have only two uh, two numbers this attention mask has only two numbers one or zero so uh, one is one means it is important zero means it is it is not important so the BERT model will give attention to these numbers not to these numbers so it, it does it does same so in the second sequence all uh, all words are important so the complete sequence is one and the now and the third input is token type IDs now what this is uh, so if we pass a two sequence as an input uh, in a uh, in a single time if we fast two inputs then uh, this is how it will take the sentence so the, uh, again the first is cls and between those two sequences it will add a scp label scp token and at the end also it will add a scp token now 
it should differentiate between the first sequence and the second sequence so to differentiate the first sequence will be uh, assigned with zeros and uh, the second sequence will be assigned with ones so now the model will know that this 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 up to this number it is the first sequence and from and from here to there it is the second sequence for that we will use this token type ids so in our case we will not use two sequences just we will be, we will be using only one sequence so our in our case this will be zero uh, to all all this will be zeros uh, we can see here we have that input ids token type ids and as attention mask so this function will return all those three sequences uh, as a tuple and uh, no need of pre-processing the text because that tokenizer will do all those things uh, and it won't do the stemming because uh, in the vocabulary there will be uh, non-stemmed words like running testing tested all those words will be in the vocabulary if in some cases if the word is not there then uh, the tokenizer will split these words into two different words and these two different uh, words will be there in the vocabulary so uh, suppose if running was not there in the vocabulary it will split running into run plus ing and these two words will be there in the vocabulary run run and ing will be there in the vocabulary so and to know these two tokens are of the same word it will add two hashes in front of the second word same uh, if even if it split uh, the single word into three different words uh, then also uh, it will add two hashes in front of uh, the last two words so uh, no need of stemming and no need of decapitalization because we we have seen the model uh, cased and uncased cased is for uh, the upper case and uncased is for lower case so no need of decapitalization so now we will uh, encode the sequence that is we will convert the uh, text sequence into, into numeric sequence we will use the encoder function which we have defined and we will pass this training data frame and the tokenizer so we'll get this uh, sequence and if we print this sequence we'll see here there are three sequences three numeric sequences uh, the first one is input ids second one is the token type ids and the third one is attention mask now uh, this this to input ids we have the numbers for um, those each tokens we have specific numbers these are unique numbers and we have cls token here in the beginning in the beginning of the sequence that is 101 and scp token is 102 we can see here in uh, every sequence start there is the cls token and at the end there is scp token and uh, in this last two sentences we can see some zeros here these are the padded uh, padded zeros uh, because these these are the short sequences so this got padded and if we see this attention mask here also we can see these padded part is not given attention uh, other things are given attention one 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 and these are zero 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 so and this is the token type ids uh, which will differentiate between two sentences if uh, there are if there were two sentences as the input but in our case uh, there, there is no uh, we will be using single sentence so we have only zeros uh, if uh, if there were two sentences the first sentence will be zeros and the second sentence will be ones but we have only one sentence then uh, that's why we have all zeros here that is our uh, uh, these these sequence will be our input so we need all those three sequence as the input and if we see uh, this uh, tokenized sequence we can see here this this was our original sequence uh, we have these words here 
uh, and in our tokenized sequence we can see here uh, these punctuations are tokenized and we have an id for that that means these uh, punctuations are there in uh, the vocabulary now here we can see rumpled was the word which was in the original sequence in but in our tokenized sequence uh, rumpled was not there in the vocabulary so it got splitted into rum and pled and uh, these are the two hashes which says that these two tokens are of same word so that it can uh, learn the meaning from that uh, and this this is the cls token uh, which is in the uh, starting of the sequence now uh, we have our sequence ready that is we have our input ready now uh, we need to download the model configuration so that now uh, with this configuration we can download the original model to do that uh, we will be using the bert config class and from pre-trained and we will pass the model name here and it will download the configuration and save it in model config and uh, here we will uh, get the output of all hidden states so make that a true if you want all outputs then if we print out the model configuration we can see here uh, these are the configuration uh, so this is the maximum 512 words um, this is so you can see that uh, Gale, this is the activation function this is the dropout probability uh, version all those things you can see here this is the vocabulary size so this is the configuration and now uh, uh, this this class now uh, we have to download the model so this tf bird model class will download a tensorflow model so we can use this model in our tensorflow coding so from pre-trained uh, we have to again pass this uh, pass our model name but base uncased and if you are using something else you can uh, pass that name and the model configuration so this will download the uh, model and assign it to BERT variable uh, and if you are using pytorch there is a different method but in tensorflow we use this tf BERT model class now this will download the a model and you can ignore, ignore these things now we have model ready uh, that is our uh, pre-trained model now we need to uh, uh, but that is not enough we need to add some extra layers to it uh, so that we can fine-tune the model for our uh, case that is we need to predict the complexity so our uh, we need to predict those numbers that's why we need to uh, add some more extra layers and for that uh, for to retrain this model we need uh, some tunable parameters that is one thing is maximum length uh, we have to take this as specified earlier 210 and the learning rate you can tune this and uh, check which is better and epochs only we, we have three, uh, taken only three epochs because this is a huge model uh, which takes more than half an hour of training for each epoch uh, that's why we have to uh, take on only three epochs if you have time if you have space and if you have all those uh, requirements you can take more epochs and uh, i have used a model checkpoint callback in case uh, if there is any interruption in the training while training so this model checkpoint will uh, save uh, the weights, uh, uh, save the model after every epoch so that if, if there is interruption, uh, if the training stops then there is no need of restarting the training, we can start from where, uh, where there was interruption. So this is, a, this is a very helpful callback and we will be using Adam optimizer, mean squared error, uh, error as loss and we will be using this root mean square error uh, as our metrics because uh, in the competition it was mentioned that um, the score is based on this RMSE. It's time to define the model. 
uh, and we have to take three inputs for that we will use uh, the input method and in that we have to specify the shape uh, shape of the sequence and data type and we'll assign a name so that it will be easy for us to visualize this model uh, do the same thing for uh, all three sequences and now uh, put uh, those three inputs uh, in a uh, list and now uh, it's time to use the BERT model so this BERT model takes all those three inputs the uh, input ID and the token type ID and the attention mask it will take now uh, what this BERT model uh, do is uh, it will give uh, some 13 output vectors so in that we will be taking the first vector uh, you can see here uh, these, these are the 13 vectors uh, and now we are taking the first vector the first vector is the word embeddings uh, and the rest 12 are the output of these hidden layers uh, now uh, we can have uh, these kind of options uh, to take the output we can take uh, only one output that is the uh, first output uh, that's the embedding layer embedding vector or you can take the last uh, hidden layer output or sum of all those 12 layers uh, and uh, these are the different combination you can take and uh, when we see the accuracy score f1 score here you can see uh, this concatenating the last four hidden layers will give you the uh, best accuracy um, but we are not going to do that uh, if you want you can try this out uh, these are some combinations uh, what we are going to do is we, we will be taking only this first layer that is the embedding layer so here you can see we have taken the first layer now uh, that in that first vector uh, if we print out the shape of that one vector we can see here it is this these are the number of uh, uh, sentences we will be using that is 2834 and now for each sentence we have 210 tokens and for each token we will get a output vector with 768 uh, numbers so if you want to know how this looks uh, here you can see uh, for each sentence we have uh, tokens now for each token we have a vector uh, with 768 units so here we can see these are the vectors now uh, what we are going to do is we, we will be considering only the CLS token output uh, why because here you can see the uh, here you can see this is the CLS token and these are the remaining uh, tokens now uh, when we are getting the output for CLS token uh, this CLS token is based on NSP that is next sentence prediction uh, so for next sentence prediction what the um, model required to do is it should get the context of the whole sentence for a next sentence prediction so uh, this uh, CLS token alone has the whole context of the sentence that's why we will be using the output of CLS token now, uh, these remaining tokens uh, will give the output based on the mask language modeling that is uh, this what this model do is uh, it will mask 15% uh, of the tokens randomly in each sentence and uh, this model will predict the uh, probability of uh, getting that word so uh, we will not use these vectors we will use only the output of CLS token now if you want to understand more about this architecture uh, then I have provided some uh, video links in the description you can watch it watch those videos and you will understand this concept better now coming to this here we can see uh, we have considered all the sequence and in that uh, 
only the pass token and the for that token we have uh, consider all those 768 uh, numbers then now that is our output and we will pass this output to a dropout layer uh, now with the uh, dropout 0 0.1 you can try changing uh, the these values and that output is passed to a dense layer uh, i have taken uh, 10 units now again you can change all these things uh, and uh, of course you can add some more layers or remove uh, these layers uh, you can do all those things now i have used linear activation function that is because if you see our label uh, it is uh, in the range minus one to minus three uh, uh, you can see here uh, here we have minus one and it is both combination of negative and positive integers so we have taken uh, the linear activation function now if you want you can standardize those values and uh, try out some sigmoid or tanish uh, functions but for now we have taken linear and now uh, to define the model we can use uh, this tf.keras.model and we have to pass the inputs that is the list we have made that is the input and uh, this this last output we have to uh, specify that is the output so now uh, and in this model.compile we, we will specify the loss function optimizer and if there are any matrix uh, the matrix then we will print out this model summary so we can see here uh, these three input layers BERT model and we uh, this is this is we we slice the uh, the output of BERT model and a dropout layer two dense layers so we can see the shape of them now uh, here you can see there are 109 million parameters trainable parameters uh, so it will take much time now uh, here I have given the concept uh, for that slicing and when we plot the model we can see here these, these are the input layers three input to the BERT model and we will slice slice them uh, applying dropout layer to dense layers and uh, I have included to uh, uh, these dense layers because I have to fine tune for uh, for our case because when uh, this, this we are taking this output uh, what this output is this is so if there are two sentences given uh, then what this NSP output do is the sentence uh, this sentence B is uh, then if this will give one as output if the sentence B is the next sentence of A then it will give one and it will give zero if it is not that's why this this output will be in the range of zero to one and uh, so as we have used a single sentence there will not be a problem so uh, most of the classification task we use this NSP output that's why this CLS refers to uh, classification so and that's why we, we will be adding two dense layers you can try adding some more dense layers or any other layers now here we'll split uh, the training data and validation data so I have taken 2550 uh, training uh, points and 284 validation point now uh, we will train our model it may take three to four hours so we'll see okay now we are done with our training and we have got a loss of 0 0.10 and uh, RMSA of 0 0.32 validation loss of 0 0.45 and validation RMSC is 0 0.67 now the important thing is this one uh, the validation loss and validation rmsc so now if we look at the uh, computation leaderboard 
you can see the maximum score is 0 0.457 and ours is 0 0.67 which is not a bad uh, score so now if we predict on test data so this is what we get again this is not important the important thing is our validation RMSC so uh, and also you can increase the score by tuning some of these parameters you can add some more dense layers and here you can take uh, different layers and uh, different combinations as I have mentioned earlier those things and here you can try with increasing the maximum length in our case uh, some of the sequences were truncated so we lost some information and uh, try out uh, learning rate try increasing the epochs so that's it thank you guys for watching and i have provided a link for this notebook and also some good video links if you want to understand bird in depth in the description and if you like this video press the like button and if not please mention the reason in comments thank you